Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we're going to take a look at the differences between our full color CAD prints transfers and Ultra Color Max direct to film heat transfers. Now, with the CAD prints line being discontinued this summer at Transfer Express, we're going to chat about the similarities and differences, as well as what product is going to be the right replacement if you are using those CAD prints transfers. And of course, we'll talk about some product capabilities. But are you ready? Let's get to it. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We're kicking out new videos like this one every single week. Now, well, all being full color heat transfers, CAD Prints Soft Opaque, CAD Prints Express Prints, and Ultra Color Max offer the capabilities to print full color graphics on apparel, including photos, gradients, and fine detail that are not able to be achieved with, say, screen printed heat transfers. While we all know and love Ultra Color Max direct-to-film heat transfers, CAD prints are essentially printed vinyl, then cut to the custom shape, which leaves a white outline around your graphic in the standard configuration. CAD prints definitely pave the way for full color heat transfer technology, but with the rise of direct-to-film transfers over the past couple years, they're not nearly as popular as they once were. A lot of those same benefits that CAD prints had have now been taken over by Ultra Color Max. Low temperature application, low minimum quantities, full color prints on light or dark garments, and of course, outstanding stretch and rebound on those garments with, say, a lot of give. So let's take a peek at some of the differences here and how they look applied. One thing to mention before we start full comparisons is that one is ink printed on a white substrate, while the other are those same kind of CMYK inks, but with a white ink behind them. So the colors may be close, but not match exactly if you're just trying to reorder a graphic with a different print method. So here, let's jump into our comparison to compare CAD Soft Opaque with Ultra Color Max. Now, both of these product types can print on spandex, polyester, cotton, and cotton poly blends. Now, CAD Soft Opaque is rated for use on woven nylon. Ultra Color Max is not the best option for that. If you are printing on woven nylon, switch on over to another Ultra Color transfer, the Ultra Color Stretch. So as you can see here, we have our CAD print soft opaque and the same exact artwork here in an Ultra Color Max print. You can see that we do have a little bit of difference in color because of the different printing methods where Ultra Color Max looks like it has a little bit more cyan heavy in this blue versus maybe more magenta, which gives it this kind of purple more look here on the CAD print soft opaque. One thing I do wanna mention is here, you could see that we do require this outline around any of these elements here that is not needed with Ultra Color Max. We did just put the uh, white outline to match this graphic exactly how it is on this CAD print sample so that we do have a nice apples to apples comparison. Now, when we're talking about the transfer types themselves, let's look at some stretch and rebound. Here you can see the CAD print soft opaque really does stretch and rebound nicely as well does the Ultra Color Max. Look how great those look, right back to the same shape that they were with no worries about anything there. Now, one thing as we're talking about these two different heat transfers here, we do have to talk about application. Ultra Color Max is 290 degrees, 12 to 15 seconds, a medium pressure and a hot peel. So that's really, really nice, easy and efficient to use. With just a single step application, no need to recover and repress. Now that is almost matched identically from our CAD print soft opaque. Here we're at 310 degrees, so just 20 degrees higher than our Ultra Color Max, but we are pressing for 15 seconds at a medium to firm pressure, and we are peeling the carrier hot. So one thing we do wanna look at the transfer types themselves. Here, our CAD soft opaque does come with a clear plastic liner and this paper backing. So before applying, we have to remove the paper backing and we would lay this on the garment to print. Whereas our Ultra Color Max transfers don't require anything, they are ready to apply on this uh, kind of frosted carrier, lay it down and print it. But you can see here that there is a color difference even before applied and after applied on our samples. 
Now on the garment, they do feel very, very similar with maybe the CAD prints being a slightly more matte finish. Uh, but as you could see, if you see the re light reflecting on it, they are actually very, very similar together. And the actual feel on the garment, uh, Ultra Color Max feels a little bit more like ink, um, but CAD Prince still has a great feel. So if you are trying to move away from the CAD Prince line, Ultra Color Max, at least for CAD Prince Soft Opaque on regular garments, is going to be a great alternative for you to use. Next up for our comparisons, we have CAD Prints, Express Prints, and again, our Ultra Color Max with the same exact image. Again, you're going to see the limitations with the CAD Prints line that we do need the white outline around all of these elements. With Ultra Color Max, we mimicked this to look like this, but all of these white outlines are not necessary. You could have all of this free floating text and any knockout areas in the graphic. You aren't limited to keeping it all on one shape similar to say like a sticker or something like that. Now, just like the CAD print soft opaque, the express print does come again on a clear plastic carrier married with a paper backing. So you peel it off and then you're ready to apply. Whereas again, the ultra color max here is just ink on a carrier that comes ready to apply and go. Now, one thing I will miss about the CAD Prince line is that this is slightly sticky. So when you place it on a garment, you could press it down and it's not going to be moving anywhere. Whereas with any other transfer type, really, if you lay it down, you could push it right off. So that is one cool feature of a heat transfer vinyl in general, but definitely these CAD prints make it a little bit easier. Now with CAD prints, express prints, the application is where we're going to have one of the largest differences. Ultra Color Max, again, applies at 290 degrees, 12 to 15 seconds, a medium pressure, and a hot peel. Now over here on the CAD prints, express print, we're dropping our temperature all the way down to 250 degrees. That is far under the heat sensitivity threshold for the vast majority. I'm talking 99% of fabrics you're going to be decorating on, right? So that's great. It also applies in just five seconds. It's called express print for a reason. It's very, very quick. And again, a medium to firm pressure and a hot peel, making this a incredibly versatile transfer. Now, one thing I do want to call out is that while soft opaque felt almost identical to the max, CAD Prince Express Print does have a little bit thicker feel, uh, like a digital transfer print, more than say the Ultra Color Max. A little bit more pliable and soft on the garment versus the, uh, the feel of the Express Print. As you can see, if you could see in the light here a little bit, again, maybe just slightly more matte on the finish here, but that uh, a little bit, I don't even wanna say gloss, I just wanna say less matte, it just really makes the colors pop much more vibrant colors printing right here that's going to make it look great and that's something that ultra color max just really exceeds at is those high saturation colors that just look absolutely fantastic as a digital print on apparel right here now one other thing that we need to look at again is the stretch and rebound of these transfers ultra color max being able to print on spandex right can really, really expand, stretch, and rebound, and just like that, go back to the way that it's supposed to look. CAD prints, express prints, on the other hand here, only print on cotton, polyester, and cotton poly blend. So if you're used to using express prints and you're shifting over to Ultra Color Max, you have a little bit more versatility, although you are gonna have to trade up for a little bit higher application. Let's see how this one looks when it stretches. Ooh, it doesn't really stretch as well as the Ultra Color Max. And as you can see, it does rebound back to it, but you can see just a little bit of dimpling in there where I was really kind of giving it a stretch. Whereas Ultra Color Max, you could really give a tear at and boom, it's gonna pop back right to where it needs to go. But that is really one of the greatest things here about Ultra Color Max. Now, of course, before we wrap this up, I do wanna mention if you are using the CAD Prince Subblock Digital Transfers, uh, that you're going to have to switch on over to Ultra Color Stretch with Blocker to have that dye blocker for printing on sublimated polyester. 
I didn't really wanna compare it to Ultra Color Max because you really shouldn't be printing Ultra Color Max over sublimated polyester, you are going to have dye migration come through those inks. We're working on a solution for it, but it's just not available right now. Now, of course, if you have been using CAD prints and you do want to continue using them for your customers, maybe it's just once a year they reorder some stuff and they want that exact one-to-one -one match, you can still order them from stalls.com. They're just not gonna be available at transferexpress.com. But be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Transfer Express YouTube page right here to stay up to date on all of the helpful t-shirt printing tips, tricks, inspiration, and education that we're dropping every single week. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing.